if you think what just happened to Deborah is abnormal, you will probably also think that Buhari is a failure. But you must begin to understand that some of these definitions are subjective. You need to first of all understand what were Buhari's strategic objective on assumption of power. He has achieved the strategic objectives. He's modernized the entire echelons of Nigeria. He has popularized everyone else. He has institutionalized impunity. He has done what he came to do. So for those <laughs> who wanted Buhari in power, Buhari has been a resounding success. So when you talk about abnormality in terms of what happened to Deborah, then you are then speaking from your own subjective understanding of what constitutes normalcy. If a people are interested in raising towards Kabul, if the Taliban are those seen as the model, surely the normalization of the insanity where a voice note that clearly establishes no blasphemy would be the basis for the murder of somebody who should be a citizen but isn't. And when you consider this also within the context of the fact that there is a sitting minister in the federal cabinet who is in charge of very sensitive information related to all Nigerians, the Minister for Communication, Pantami, Isa Pantami, was similarly complicit in the murder of another Nigerian in his own days in the university. So if people can see someone of his status in the federal cabinet occupying such a sensitive position, why should they not consider the murder of a person who is not treated as a citizen as a stepping stone to a future ministerial seat. So when you speak to abnormalcy and normalcy, it is critical that you also look beyond the boundaries of your own prisms of what constitutes normalcy and abnormalcy.